Good morning. Good morning. How Happy are New you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Awesome. Good morning. Kobina, good morning. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. Where are you joining us from? I'm actually in London, in North London. Um, nice. And very nice to meet you. And um, is it Tama? Yes, Tama. Tama. Hi. Hey, um, so, you know, yeah, I've been following your posts and your, um, <laughs> your um, videos and, yeah, really, really very informative, excellent work you're doing. Um, oh, Yeah, no, really, really pleased to meet you in person, as it were. Oh, awesome. Yeah. You know, Great. some. I must tell you the truth, sometimes I wonder, yeah. is it reaching the right people? Well, so, well, definitely, um, definitely. Um, I, I'd say, well, I don't know who it's reaching because you have those figures, I think. But certainly the message is very, very, very good. The content is really, really useful. I saw the interview with John Rosenberg. Um, that was, yeah, very, very, very useful. Very good, very informative. Timing couldn't have been better. Um, <laughs> you know, <'cause laughs> he's obviously he's advising Biden, isn't he? So, yes. Yeah. So then, no, that was very good. I mean, yeah, the content is great. Really, really good. Happy, really happy to meet you. Look forward to sort of like collaborating with you. Fantastic. I'm not sure how many people will have today. Usually, okay. I just want to hold space, you know, yeah. because we have so many people on the platform. We have so many sure. people following this work. Yeah. But I know people reach out and DM each other, but I just want to hold this space. Yeah. So, you know, for people to join in as they yes. as they want and connect with one another because so many we have so many things planned out this yeah. year, and that's what I wanted to share today. Okay. Um, Tama has been with us for a while. You know, she's one okay. of the early early adopters. And okay. hello, this young man might be interrupting us. So <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I have okay. I have I have those as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Fantastic. Okay. I'll call you back in a minute. All right. <laughs> so yeah. um, a, busy, a busy year you were saying yes yeah, so so we have so many programs planned for this yeah. year, and there's also some some adjustments um yeah. so part of what i've realized is that um we started out bringing people together through our events and trade with africa summit and we, we do different things but over the years what is now clear is that just bringing people together is not enough. Mm -hmm. We actually have to coach people through the process of business engagement. Right. We also have to train people through export development, market entry, business. Like what I come from working for the large, world's largest company and there's a, there's a level of excellence and there's a level of um, rigor mm. that I'm used to. Yeah. Um, in terms of the sophistication of global markets, in terms of global sourcing, I used to manage that and merchandising, like it's, it's, it's highly sophisticated. Sure. So what I've now realized is leaving that space and saying, okay, I want to try and see how I can help bring, you know, Africa into mainstream global markets and all of those things. Because in that world, I wasn't seeing mm -hmm. um africa as a as a commercial conversation about trade with africa but to yeah. be honest with you in the last couple of years i haven't seen i know why i haven't seen the level of maturity that that world requires i've not seen yeah. the level of excellence that is required um and that's why 2020 for me was sacrifice sacrifice Tama. <laughs> yeah. So, Tam, yeah. Tama, Tama knows I've been on her as well like right. I know Tama has some stories where she I was like Tama what are you doing and she showed me what she was doing I was like no Tama no no mm. no that's not you've got to structure this thing properly so for me um 2020 was listening um was I coached several people past privately I trained I delivered several training to um, political leaders to private sector people and I realized, my goodness, I need to invest more in okay. this space in order that, because I want us to trade. But if we're not, if we don't know what the rules of engagement is, yeah, nothing is happening. Uh, so, you know, uh, um, trade is a big subject at the moment um, um, because of um, AFCFTA. 
Um, so we've got the intra-Africa um, angle. Mm -hmm. We've got the trade between, you know, um, um, uh, parties outside and the continent. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got the diaspora continent angle. You've got all sorts of issues. And I was just wondering, what is your focus? Um, 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 and when you say, I want people to trade, um, really, who are you looking at? Is it people it's, trading yeah, with Yeah, it's America, all of the above. It's all, it's of, all them, of the right, above. Okay. Okay. Yes, which also shows you've not taken one of my classes. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. You, you, okay. I, 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 I should actually, I mean, if, if you want, in five minutes, I'll explain <laughs> yes, why yes, I've come please. to this call, actually. Please. Um, I was actually sitting here um, having a little play with this little man here. Yeah. And then my screen flashed up saying, join the conversation. So I wasn't sure whether it was happening now, mm. but I thought I better just click on and see because it was the first one of those I've received. So oh. I clicked on it and of course I got um, sent, uh, sent, sent um, through. So I'm here now, but <laughs> I wasn't actually planning on joining. But I'm, happy I'm glad, I'm glad you joined. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I sent you a LinkedIn message about three days ago because I was getting the emails for some reason, um, but I hadn't actually connected with you on LinkedIn. So I sent you an invitation oh. about three or four days ago. You've obviously not seen it yet. Um, but just by way of background, um, I'm Ghanaian, um, British, uh, dual national, and I'm a lawyer and um, qualified oh, in both jurisdictions. Um, and I was in Ghana. Well, I spent my whole life between the two countries. And then uh, eight years ago, I went to Ghana. And um, that's when I did the Ghana bar. Um, and then I was working and practicing out there until about uh, February this year I came to the UK just to do a short-term contract but then because of the pandemic I got stuck here mm. so um, my my partner my wife and baby joined me here uh, and we're working out as we go along um, okay. but whilst I've been here I've been doing so working for um, um, in a role which I think really isn't to me because my heart and my passion is in Africa um, and so I'm kind of slightly conflicted. I'll do the job because I have to do the job. <laughs> but really, I've got so many thoughts about what I need to do, um, um, either here um, engaging with um, issues going on back home or right. heading right. back home eventually. And Ga Ghana is a great... You, you're lucky you're from Ghana. Yeah. Ghana, Ghana is really, really structured yeah. right now at this moment. Yeah. is really well structured and well positioned for anybody yes. that wants to participate. So you're yeah. that's I mean that's a good good one for you. Yeah. I think what what's what the opportunity is for you is understanding what the landscape looks like and finding where your skills and where you can plug in. Yeah. Right? That's that's usually what I'm finding is that there's a lot of talk about trade yeah. Um, in fact, it's saturated with so much conversation, mm -hmm. but the struggle people are going to have is who is actually going to show you how, yeah. how to be a part of this, how to use your skills, how to engage, how to structure deals, what does it look like? And that's why for me, we're ahead of most people. That's what we're already saying that we're working through people through how, because mm -hmm. my focus um, is, is at the end of the day to have transactions. Well, our focus yeah. is to increase trade, not just to talk about it, but mm. to actually grow an elite group of people that can actually structure deals that make sense for the continent and for yeah. themselves. That's, yeah. that's really everything that I, that I do, everything that we do, that's the goal. And, and we yeah. always, that's our not, not, not poor, not star yeah. is, all the activities that we do, AFCFT Roundtable, Trade with Africa Summit, this network, all of it is all about increasing the number of transactions. Because when you think about the numbers, they're very low. Yeah. What people are not doing is asking why. Why is mm. it low? And for me, the reason it's low, it's, <laughs> there are several things at play. But one of it is that we don't have, um, we've not, um, we don't have the right people with the right skill set, with the right level of understanding of global markets to actually mm. jump in and make sense of all of this. Yeah. It's like what I say, the California gold rush. 
right? You could hear about the gold rush. You could move into town. But if you don't dig for gold, if you don't have the right equipment, if you don't yeah. give, if you don't pan for gold, all you're going to be doing is talking about it. Sure. That's what, what I'm saying is I want to move people away, move people past just the talking, <laughs> just yeah. the talking side sure. to, you know, getting into the weed and rolling up their sleeves and, and yeah. figuring this out. That's yeah. so, so to your earlier question in terms of which area are we covering yeah. i like to say intra sure and global sure. and for those that i've taken some of my classes and listened to other things i always talk about there are three markets people need to be aware of mm. the local market the regional market and the global market and sure. the rules of engagement are different yeah so for local i'm here in the u.s the local market for me is u.s market for those in Ghana, for those in Nigeria, for those in Egypt, their country is their local market. What AFCFTA does for the people in Africa is it opens you not just to your local market, but to your regional market. So cross border yeah. transaction. So for US, for example, the local market is Canada. I'm sorry, the regional thing is um, Canada, mm. uh, Mexico, right? Regional. Yeah. Now, the global market now goes beyond your region where you start talking about global trade. So that, those are the simple ways I try to get people to understand that doing business in your local market is buying and selling, right? Mm. That's straight, straightforward. Um, then when you start moving regional, cross-border, cross-country, yeah. things, the rules yeah. change. It has to the change. The rules change, yeah. yeah but I mean, what I'm I, seeing, 